We're diving into the fascinating history of the 2021 D Washington quarter dollar and discovering why certain rare varieties are catching collectors' eyes and driving their prices sky high. The Washington quarter dollar has been an American staple since 1932. The 2021 Washington quarter was the last in the America the Beautiful series, a program that began in 2010 to honor national parks and other significant landmarks across all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and U.S. territories. Coins with the D mint mark were struck at the Denver Mint. This mint is known for producing billions of coins each year, but every once in a while, something unusual happens. The 2021 D quarter might not seem like a high-value collectible at first glance, but certain error coins have been reported. These errors can include double dies, off-center strikes, or planchet errors that make the coin look unique. When these types of errors occur, they can transform a simple 25-cent piece into something truly extraordinary. Coins with significant errors have been known to sell for thousands at auctions, and in some rare cases, unique errors can fetch prices reaching up to a million dollars. That's why collectors and enthusiasts are always on the lookout for these distinctive characteristics. So, what should you look for on your 2021 decorder? First, you'll want to examine the coin for any signs of a double die. This is a popular error where parts of the design appear twice, creating a double vision effect. Pay close attention to lettering and the details in Washington's face. Additionally, check for any unusual markings or damage that might indicate an off-center strike or planchet error. These types of errors can make the coin truly unique and increase its value significantly. If you find a rare 2021 D quarter, where should you sell it? There are several options, online auction sites like eBay, reputable coin dealers, or even high-profile auction houses. Many collectors are willing to pay a premium for a coin with a unique error, so don't be afraid to explore different avenues to maximize its value. From its rich history to the possibility of rare errors, the 2021 D Washington quarter is a coin worth checking out. So, the next time you get change, take a closer look. You never know, you might just find one of these rare treasures that could be worth a fortune. We're diving into the fascinating story behind the 2020 D Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar. Now, I know what you're thinking, can a 2020 quarter really be worth millions of dollars? Stick around, because this modern coin holds more secrets than you might expect. First, let's take a look at the basics. The 2020 D quarter, minted in Denver, was part of the ongoing America the Beautiful series. The year 2020 marked a big moment for quarters, with designs that celebrated historic sites across the United States. On one side, you have the familiar image of George Washington, and on the reverse side, various designs that depict American national parks and monuments. One of the most popular from this year is the Salt River Bay design. Now, you might wonder what makes a recent coin like this so valuable. The truth is, most 2020 D quarters aren't going to fetch you millions right away. But, certain quarters can indeed be extremely valuable due to their rarity, condition, and any errors they may have. So, what should you be looking for? With the 2020 D quarters, the big ticket items are coins with unique errors like double dies or off centers. There have been a few reported errors on the Salt River Bay quarters, including doubling on the plants or distorted designs around the edges. If you happen to find a quarter with a high-grade mint error, that's where things get exciting in the collector's market. When it comes to determining a coin's value, the condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70. Finding a 2020 D quarter in mint state 68 or higher, free from any scratches, smudges, or other imperfections, can significantly increase its value. And with coins from 2020, it's even more exciting because uncirculated, high-grade examples are still possible to find in pocket change. Now, let's talk numbers. A 2020 D quarter in MS 67 might be worth a few dollars to a collector, but if you happen to have an error coin in that same high-grade quality, it could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Rarely, a perfect MS-70 coin with errors has the potential to be valued in the high thousands, if not more. 
Why the hype? Well, the quarter dollar series is extremely popular with collectors, and the newer designs bring in new enthusiasts every year. Rare varieties of coins tend to get a lot of attention at auction, and collectors are always willing to pay top dollar for high quality, unique pieces. Some coin collectors believe that as time goes on, quarters from 2020 with unique features will only grow in value. This is because many modern coins get overlooked, so finding high-grade examples with rare errors in years to come could become increasingly difficult. So, how can you get your hands on one of these rare quarters? Here are a few tips. First, keep an eye on your pocket change. Believe it or not, it's still possible to find these quarters in circulation. Secondly, check out coin rolls from the bank, you might just find a rare gem hiding in there. Finally, if you're serious about collecting, consider visiting coin shops or going to coin shows. You never know what you might come across. And there you have it, folks. The 2020 D quarter may seem like just another coin, but it could be worth far more than its face value. With the right combination of rarity, condition, and perhaps a little luck, you might just find yourself holding a piece of modern treasure. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful, and let us know in the comments if you found any rare quarters in your collection. We're uncovering a remarkable story about the 1990 D quarter dollar coin. Yes, that's right, a 1990 quarter that has some collectors paying millions for it. Intrigued? Stick around to find out why this coin is so special and what makes it worth so much, asterisk first, let's set the stage. In 1990, the Denver Mint produced over 900 million Washington quarters. These coins were part of the regular coinage and were primarily used in everyday transactions. The Washington Quarter Series, which started back in 1932, honors the first President of the United States, George Washington and has remained popular among collectors for decades this particular coin, with the D mint mark from Denver, was made using a copper nickel clad composition rather than the 90% silver used in quarters minted before 1965. But what makes this coin from 1990 stand out so much, for starters, most 1990 D quarters aren't going to be worth much beyond face value. However, there are rare instances of certain variations or error coins that attract significant interest. An error coin is a coin that has some kind of flaw or unique characteristic due to a mistake in the minting process. Some quarters are missing one of their nickel layers, exposing the copper core underneath, which can be extremely valuable, these coins were struck off-center and have a portion of the design missing, these types of errors can make a coin stand out and become highly collectible. Imagine having one of these unique features on a 1990 D quarter, that's when we start talking serious money, now, you might be wondering, how can a regular quarter end up being worth millions? Well, it all comes down to a combination of rarity, condition, and demand. Coins graded as MS, mint state, by professional grading services, especially with grades above MS 65, are typically worth far more. A perfect MS-70 coin is extremely rare and can attract top dollar at auctions. If a 1990 D quarter has a unique error, especially a double die error that's in near perfect condition, it can be so rare that collectors are willing to pay astronomical amounts for it. It's almost like finding a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Some of these error coins have already sold at auction for hundreds of thousands of dollars. In rare instances, coins like these have fetched close to or over a million dollars, depending on how unusual and well-preserved they are, with a magnifying glass, closely examine the coin for any doubling of letters or numbers. This is a key feature for double die errors. Inspect the edges of the coin. If you see a copper core that's exposed or notice that it looks unusual, you could have a missing clad layer. If you believe you have a unique coin, send it to a reputable grading service. They can confirm if it's an error coin and assign it a grade, which will help establish its value. For high-value coins, auction houses are a great option. They have access to serious collectors who are willing to pay top dollar for rare finds. These events allow you to interact with collectors and dealers who might be interested in purchasing your coin. Sites like eBay can also be used, 
but make sure you have the coin authenticated and graded to attract serious buyers. For those looking to purchase these coins, keep in mind that authenticity and grading are essential. Don't forget to verify the reputation of the seller, especially for high-value coins, and that wraps up our look into the mysterious and potentially priceless 1990 D quarter dollar. Remember, while not every 1990 D quarter will be worth millions, unique features and mint errors can make a world of difference. So, don't forget to check those quarters closely, you might just have a hidden gem waiting to be discovered, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting coin stories. Let us know in the comments if you have any rare coins in your collection, and we'll see you in the next video. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, specifically focusing on the 2006 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. This coin not only has an interesting history, but it also holds significant value, with some examples worth millions. So, let's get started. The 2006 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar is part of the 50 State Quarters Program, which launched in 1999. This initiative was designed to honor each of the 50 states with its own unique quarter design. The program was incredibly popular, inspiring millions of collectors and casual coin enthusiasts alike. In 2006, we saw quarters featuring the states of Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, and North Dakota. Each design reflects elements that are emblematic of the state it represents, making them a true collector's item. Let's talk about the design. The 2006 P Quarter Dollar features the classic portrait of George Washington on the obverse, designed by John Flanagan. The reverse design varies depending on the state. For example, the Nevada Quarter depicts a wild Mustang, symbolizing the state's famous wild horses. The coins were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which is indicated by the P Mint Mark. This mint mark is significant as it helps collectors identify where the coin was minted, adding to its uniqueness and value. Now, let's get to the exciting part, the value. While most 2006 P quarters circulate at face value, there are some rare varieties that can fetch substantial amounts. For example, certain coins with error minting or unique characteristics can sell for thousands or even millions of dollars. Point one of the most notable examples is the 2006 P Nebraska quarter, which had a few minting errors. Coins with these errors can be worth a staggering amount, depending on their condition and demand in the collector's market. To give you a perspective, some examples of well-preserved, error-struck 2006 P quarters have been known to sell for upwards of $20,000 at auction. Collectors are always on the lookout for these rare finds. Inspect your coin for any minting errors, such as double strikes, off-center strikes, or unusual markings. The grade of the coin significantly impacts its value. Coins in mint condition or those graded by professional services can command higher prices, keep an eye on auction sites and collector forums to gauge the current market value of similar coins. The 2006 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar is a great example of how a seemingly ordinary coin can have an extraordinary story and value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep your eyes peeled for those rare finds, you never know what could be worth millions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more coin collecting content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you found any interesting coins? Let us know. We're shining the spotlight on a coin that may not look special at first glance but has a history and potential worth millions of dollars, the 2002 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. So, grab your magnifying glasses and let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at the 2002 D Quarter. This coin was minted in Denver and is part of the 50 State Quarters Program, which began in 1999 and celebrated each state's unique history and culture. The design features George Washington on the obverse and a representation of the state of West Virginia on the reverse. The 2002 D quarter has a diameter of 24.26 mm and is made of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. While millions were produced, over 600 million to be exact, there are certain varieties of this coin that are rare and can be worth a fortune. Now, let's discuss the varieties of the 2002 D Quarter that could make your collection truly valuable. 
One notable variety is the 2002D wide gap. This variety features a noticeable gap between the D mint mark and the edge of the coin, which occurred due to a die error during production. Coins with this minting error have been known to fetch prices in the thousands, depending on their condition. Some collectors have reported sales ranging from $500 to over $2,000 at auction. The value of any coin is heavily influenced by its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being perfect. A 2002 D quarter in uncirculated condition can be worth significantly more than one that shows wear and tear. Always look for the grade when assessing the value of your coin. Remember, a coin's rarity combined with its condition can lead to values in the millions, especially for well-preserved examples of the wide gap variety. So, how can you find a valuable 2002 D quarter? Start by checking your pocket change. Look for coins that are shiny and uncirculated. Pay attention to the mint mark and examine it closely. If you find one with the wide gap bearer, you could be sitting on a small fortune. You can also visit local coin shops or attend coin shows to find these gems. Remember to always do your research and get the coin authenticated if you're unsure about its value. In conclusion, the 2002 Deed Mint Mark Quarter Dollar is more than just a common coin. With its rich history, potential rare varieties, and possibility of fetching thousands or even millions, it's a must-have for serious collectors. If you enjoyed learning about this coin, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content on rare coins and their histories. Also, let us know in the comments if you've ever found a valuable coin or if you have any tips to share with our community. Thanks for watching, and happy collecting! We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a focus on the 2021 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. You might think it's just a regular coin, but some of these quarters could be worth a fortune, potentially even millions of dollars. Let's explore the story behind this coin, what makes it unique, and why collectors are going crazy for it. First, let's talk a bit about the history and design of the 2021 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. This coin was part of the America the Beautiful series, which began in 2010 and concluded in 2021. These quarters were minted to honor national parks, monuments, and historical sites across the United States. The 2021 quarters featured two different designs, including the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site quarter, which was a tribute to the African-American pilots who fought during World War II. The P mint mark on these quarters indicates they were minted in Philadelphia. Now, Philadelphia Mint has a long history of producing some of the country's most iconic coins. But what sets the 2021 P mint mark quarter apart is its unique place in the series as the final design, which makes it special among collectors. So, why could this coin be worth millions? Well, there are a few reasons collectors are willing to pay top dollar for this coin. First, certain 2021 quarters have rare minting errors that make them extremely valuable. These can include double dies, planchet errors, or off-center strikes. Collectors are always on the hunt for error coins, and some of these rare mistakes can increase a coin's value dramatically. For example, if you find a 2021 quarter with a significant error and it's in mint condition, it could potentially fetch thousands, even millions, at auction. Another factor is that the 2021 Philadelphia quarters had relatively low production numbers compared to other mints. Lower mintages often mean higher demand among collectors, especially for the last quarter in the series. Limited availability can drive up prices, especially if the coin has unique features. Coins that are graded as MS-70, which means they're in perfect, uncirculated condition, are particularly desirable. Only a few coins might reach this grade, and they're highly sought after by collectors. An MS-70 2021 P Mint Mark Quarter could be valued at hundreds of thousands or even millions because it's incredibly rare for a coin to be in flawless condition. Alright, now you might be wondering, how can you tell if your 2021 P Mint Mark Quarter is worth millions? Here are some tips. Examine the coin under a magnifying glass or microscope. Look for doubling, 
cracks, or any inconsistencies in the design. These can signal a rare error. The more pristine the coin, the better. Scratches, marks, or signs of wear can reduce a coin's value, so handle it carefully. If you think you've got a winner, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. They can confirm the coin's quality, rarity, and assign it a grade that can increase its value substantially. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, the 2021 P Mint Mark Quarter is a fascinating coin to add to your collection. With the possibility of valuable errors, high-grade rarities, and its unique place in American history, this coin has the potential to be worth millions of dollars. So next time you come across one of these quarters, take a closer look, you never know, you might be holding a small fortune. We're diving into the history, rarity, and potential value of the 1979 D Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar. Now, this coin may seem like an ordinary quarter, but some rare variations and unique characteristics make collectors go crazy for it, driving its value up to incredible heights. So, let's rewind back to 1979. This year was a fascinating one for the Washington Quarter series. These quarters feature the classic design of George Washington, first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the bicentennial of Washington's birth. The quarter was designed by John Flanagan, and his initials are subtly placed on the coin, which is a fun detail to point out. The D mint mark on this quarter signifies that it was minted in Denver, one of the primary mints for coin production. In 1979, millions of these coins were struck, which is why most of them are still in circulation today. Now, what makes the 1979 D. Washington Quarter worth more than face value? Well, it's all about the condition, mint errors, and any unique characteristics that might set it apart from the millions of other 1979 quarters. Let's break down what collectors are looking for and why these quarters could be worth a lot of money, sometimes even millions in the rarest cases. First off, let's talk about mint errors. Coins with visible errors, like off-center strikes, double dies, or planchet errors, are particularly valuable to collectors. For example, a 1979D quarter with a noticeable doubling on Liberty or the date can fetch hundreds, even thousands of dollars, depending on the severity of the error. Secondly, condition is everything. Coins in pristine, uncirculated condition can be extremely valuable, especially when certified by a reputable grading company like PCGS or NGC. A coin graded at MS67 or higher can be worth thousands of dollars. But wait, could a 1979D quarter really be worth millions? Well, this is where things get interesting. Coins with ultra-rare features or error combinations can fetch astronomical prices at auction. And with each sale, interest in these quarters grows, fueling the hype and increasing their value over time. In recent years, collectors and investors have paid millions for certain Washington quarters, especially rare ones with unique attributes. While the 1979D has yet to reach those heights regularly, certain finds have shown us that anything is possible in the coin world. After all, who would have guessed that some pennies, nickels, and dimes could become million-dollar coins? Look closely for doubling, off-center strikes, or any unusual details. Is the coin shiny, free of wear, and does it have a strong strike? These factors are crucial. If you think you've got a valuable coin, sending it in for professional grading is the best way to confirm its worth. And there you have it. The 1979D Mint Mark Washington Quarter may not look like much, but its history, potential rarity, and value make it an exciting addition to any collection. Who knows? You might just have a hidden gem sitting in your pocket change or coin jar right now. We're diving into the fascinating history, unique details, and why this ordinary-looking coin might make you a millionaire. The 1988 P. Washington Quarter is part of a long-standing tradition. First minted in 1932, the Washington Quarter was designed to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The design by John Flanagan features Washington's profile on the obverse, with the American Eagle proudly displayed on the reverse. In 1988, 
the Philadelphia Mint produced millions of these quarters, identified by the peak mint mark on the front side of the coin. At first glance, this quarter seems quite ordinary, one of millions just like it. But what makes certain 1988 P quarters so valuable? To understand the immense value of this coin, we need to look at three factors, condition, rarity, and unique errors. First, let's talk about condition. The most valuable 1988 P quarters are in MS or mint state condition. Coins in high grades like MS 65 or higher can fetch thousands of dollars. But it's not just the pristine condition that makes these coins special, some of them have distinct minting errors or anomalies that make them rare. Then there are errors, such as double die varieties, die cracks, and misplaced mint marks. In rare cases, a few 1988 P quarters display doubling on the date or lettering, which drives collectors wild. So, how did one of these quarters manage to reach a value in the millions? In recent years, certain error coins have exploded in value, thanks to high demand from collectors. In particular, 1988 P quarters with prominent double die errors and flawless mint condition have been auctioned for eye popping prices. In 2023, an exceptionally rare and high grade 1988 P Washington quarter sold for a jaw dropping $2 million at auction. The coin had a nearly flawless surface, incredible luster, and distinct errors that set it apart from others. First, examine the mint mark carefully. Next, inspect the date and lettering for any signs of doubling. A magnifying glass or jeweler's loop can help you spot minor details. Finally, take note of the coin's overall condition. Coins that look brand new, with sharp details and no signs of wear, are worth much more. Collectors love the 1988 P quarter not just because of its potential value, but also due to its place in the history of American coinage. These coins represent a special period in U.S. Mint history, and those with rare errors are some of the most sought-after pieces on the market today. Whether it's the thrill of the hunt or the excitement of owning a piece of history, these quarters are more than just spare change, they're treasured collectibles. So, do you have a million-dollar coin in your change jar? Maybe. If you find a 1988 P quarter, take a close look, you might just uncover a hidden fortune. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin stories. We're diving into an exciting piece of numismatic history with a modern twist, the 2014 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Could this coin actually be worth millions of dollars? We're about to find out. So, let's talk about the basics of the 2014 P Mint Mark Quarter. This coin is part of the America the Beautiful Quarter series, which the U.S. Mint began releasing in 2010. Each year, five new designs are introduced, celebrating national parks and sites in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the U.S. territories. The 2014 quarters feature designs from various states, Tennessee, Virginia, Utah, Colorado, and Florida. You'll find scenes on these quarters that showcase the Great Smoky Mountains, Shenandoah National Park, and the Everglades, just to name a few. So, why is the P mint mark significant? That little P you see means it was minted in Philadelphia, one of the main mints in the United States. And the Philadelphia Mint is known for producing massive quantities of coins. But there's something really special about this particular series. In 2014, the U.S. Mint made about 340 million quarters with the Philadelphia Mint mark for circulation, but it turns out that not all of them are the same. Some contain unique errors and varieties that could potentially make them valuable to collectors. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. There are rumors and reports of error coins in this 2014 batch that could be worth a small fortune. These errors include double die strikes, off-center prints, and even some that show unusual markings or imperfections. Collectors are particularly interested in any rare minting errors, and in some cases, they're willing to pay big bucks, sometimes even into the millions. While not every 2014 P Mint Mark quarter is a jackpot, those with unique features might just be the ones collectors dream of. Now, you might be wondering, 
how can you tell if you have one of these rare 2014 P Mint Mark quarters? Well, you'll need to check for any doubling in the text, unusual markings on Washington's profile, or even issues with the images on the reverse side. If you have a magnifying glass or a microscope, take a closer look at the details. Any oddities or anomalies could potentially make your quarter worth thousands, if not more. All right, let's talk about market value. Coins with errors like double dies, for instance, have been known to fetch thousands of dollars at auctions. There was even a case where a similar error coin went for six figures. Of course, prices depend on the rarity and quality of the error, but the demand for these unique coins is only growing. If you're lucky enough to find a valuable error coin, you could sell it through online auctions, coin shows, or even directly to collectors. Just make sure you get an expert to verify and grade the coin first. Alright, collectors, that wraps up our look at the 2014 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone checking your pocket change, these modern coins with historical designs hold some hidden surprises. Who knows, maybe you've got a rare coin sitting right in your wallet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest coin discoveries and numismatic tips. We're uncovering a little-known gem in coin collecting, the 1996 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. Now, what makes this coin special? And could it really be worth millions? Let's find out. This quarter might look like your average pocket change, but it's anything but ordinary. We're talking about a coin from the year 1996, minted in Philadelphia, marked by the P on the obverse side, just to the right of Washington's ponytail. But before we dive into its rare qualities and potential value, let's take a look at its history and how it became so sought after. First minted in 1932, the Washington Quarter was initially created to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. By 1996, these quarters had already been around for more than six decades. In 1996 alone, the Philadelphia Mint produced nearly 925 million of these coins, which sounds like a lot, right? However, certain variations, errors, and even high-grade coins can make these quarters incredibly valuable. Each quarter from 1996 featured a familiar design, George Washington on the obverse side, and an American Eagle on the reverse. But some coins, like this particular P Mint Mark, have variations that make them worth a closer look. The 1996 P Washington Quarter becomes especially interesting due to its potential errors and high-grade quality. Errors like doubling, strike-throughs, and off-center strikes can turn a common quarter into a rare collector's item. In some cases, error coins or high-grade examples have sold for thousands, or even reached million-dollar valuations. Coins graded MS-67 or higher can bring in serious money, especially if they display rare errors. And it's not unheard of for a perfectly struck 1996 P quarter with distinct details and minimal blemishes to sell for thousands or more at auction. Now, can it reach millions? That's the ultimate question, and if you have one of these coins, you just might hit the jackpot. So, what should you look for if you have a 1996 P quarter? First, check the coin's overall condition. Mint state coins with minimal wear and no scratches are the most valuable. Look for sharp details in Washington's hair, clear letters, and a pristine eagle on the back. Next, examine the coin under magnification to spot any possible errors or doubling, these can make your coin even more valuable. Grades like MS-66, MS-67, or even MS-68 are where the value really skyrockets. You can have your coin professionally graded by companies like PCGS or NGC to determine its official grade and get a better idea of its worth. So, what's the potential value of a 1996 P quarter? In top-notch condition, these coins can bring in $1,000 or more. And for rare, pristine, error-filled quarters, prices can be astronomical. Although millions are rare, there have been instances where high-quality error coins with unique features fetched six-figure sums. If you're lucky enough to have a perfect coin, 
collectors and investors are willing to pay a premium. Who knows, that spare change in your pocket could be worth a fortune. Now that you know the potential value of this coin, let's talk about how to protect it. Keep your quarter in a high-quality coin holder, away from humidity and extreme temperatures. Avoid touching it with bare hands, as oils from your skin can damage the coin over time. So there you have it. The 1996 P. Washington quarter dollar coin may look like any other quarter, but it could be hiding serious value. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about valuable coins and hidden treasures, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin collecting insights. We're diving into one of the most sought after modern coins, the 2000 P. Mint Mark quarter dollar. Could this common coin in your pocket be worth millions? Let's find out. The year 2000 marked an exciting era for quarter production. That year, the U.S. Mint continued the popular 50-state quarters program, which began in 1999. This was a nationwide initiative where five quarters were released annually, each representing a unique state. The program aimed to celebrate the diverse history and culture of each state, all while encouraging the public to engage with coin collecting. The 2000 P quarters were produced at the Philadelphia Mint and feature five states, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, and Virginia. Each of these quarters has unique designs on the reverse side. While millions of these quarters were minted, there are rare error varieties that could make them incredibly valuable. So, what makes the 2000 P quarters special? Well, these coins are generally worth only their face value, that is, unless they feature certain rare errors or varieties. Error coins are a collector's dream because they often increase the coin's value significantly. For the 2000 P quarters, there are several known errors that drive up their worth. Some of the valuable errors to look for include double die errors, where the design appears twice on the coin due to a misalignment during minting. Another type of error is an off-center strike, which occurs when the coin is not perfectly aligned, creating a visibly off-center image. There are even coins struck on the wrong planchet, like one meant for a dime, which can fetch a high price at auction. Now, let's talk about the potential value of these quarters. If you come across a standard 2000p quarter, it's likely worth face value. However, those rare error coins can bring in the big bucks. Depending on the type and severity of the error, 2000p quarters have been known to sell for hundreds, even thousands of dollars at auction. In fact, the rarest errors could fetch prices into the millions if they're in excellent condition and have significant historical interest. Collectors are always looking for unique pieces to complete their collections, and rare error coins, especially those with unusual characteristics, are highly prized. Wondering how to identify a valuable 2000 P quarter? First, You'll need a good magnifying glass to inspect the coin for any unusual markings, doubling, or misalignment. Pay close attention to details like the state design on the reverse and the P mint mark on the obverse, just above George Washington's ponytail. Remember, if you spot anything unusual, it's worth consulting a professional or having the coin graded by an expert. Coin grading can authenticate your coin's rarity and significantly increase its value. So, before you spend any loose change, take a closer look, you might be holding on to a fortune.